everyone. Uh, today we are in uh, Ohio, somewhere, P-I-Q-U-A, Ohio. Uh, we're picking up out of the sky coils. So that's what we're going to secure today. Uh, let me see if I can turn the camera here where you can see what I'm, what I'm picking up. Right there, out of the sky coils. They're palleted, so it's going to be a little different. Uh, so that's what we're picking up today. Uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. I'm trying this out. Trying this out this wireless mic and a new camera. So we'll see how it works. But uh, it is a little windy. So hopefully wind distortion don't get in the way. But that's what we're going to do today. So thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll check back in with you once it gets me loaded. And we will start the secure process. All right. So today we're going to be getting 18 pallets of these here coils. So I know I look kind of goofy. I got my GoPro on my head. I'm gonna try to get some footage from it as well. Uh, but we're getting 18 pallets of these out of the sky coils. So uh, once he gets done loading, he's bringing another stack right now. Uh, once he gets done, then I will start securing them and bring you back when we start that process. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, welcome back everyone, and the wind decides to blow. But anyway, welcome back everyone. Hopefully the wind is not bothering you too bad. I'm gonna try to block it a little bit so that way you can hear me. But uh, he just got done loading, so now I'm gonna start throwing straps. And according to the DOT, we have to do 50% uh, of the load. However, on these eye of sky coils, it requires one strap being thrown at an angle across each direction front and back and then one across the front or across right over the middle for uh, the front one then you can throw two on the rest crossing and then three on the back also crossing with one right through the middle so uh, they call it diagonal and then one transverse straight across so that's what I'm gonna start doing I'm gonna start throwing straps and getting ready what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna reposition the truck because there's a couple of mud puddles on the other side and I don't want to throw my straps in water. So I'm going to reposition the truck and I'll reposition y'all and then I'll bring it back and uh, we'll get started uh, securing this thing. So we'll see you in a few minutes. everyone so we're gonna start securing so first thing I'm gonna do is throw one that's diagonal now I'll throw one diagonal the opposite direction I got two that's diagonal that way. So now I've got nine winches on, on each side of the trailer. So now I'm gonna start throwing all my straps that way that I'm gonna be throwing. So each one will be diagonal going the other way.
So as I'm throwing my straps, I know I know I'm gonna be throwing straps from the other side back over. So I know I'm gonna need a winch here. Then I'll need another one here and another one here, so on and so forth, all the way down. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So as I'm throwing these straps, you'll see I'm gonna kind of reposition here a little bit so we can see further down. But so it's like I'm gonna throw a strap right here at a die at an angle. Go ahead and have it sit there. I'm gonna grab a winch. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it down. Move it past my strap. Hook my strap into the winch pocket. Now I've got a winch already sitting where I need it. So I'm gonna continue on. Got all these thrown. I'm gonna throw one more from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, I've only got nine winches, so I can't. I have to use a two inch. All right. So now you see I've got all these thrown at an angle all the way across. I got winches placed, so I'm gonna go to the other side. And because it's kind of windy today, I'm gonna tuck my straps in where I need them, so that way they don't get blown around. You see how they're starting to blow around here? So I know that this one is over there. So I'm gonna pull this through. makeshift bandage is coming off anyway so same thing with this one here see where I got it go ahead and pull it through do that to every one of these we'll do it to all of them so that way the wind doesn't blow them around because I still got to go back and put edge protections in.
All right. So I've got all these done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my straps over here. They're easier to get to. Takes less time. And then I'll check back in with you here in a few minutes. All right. Welcome back. So now what I'm going to do, <coughs> I'm going to check out my winches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. See if I can get, all, get them all where I need them at. Now I got all my winches moved to the forward where I need them. So I can go ahead and tuck this one in like I need to. Tighten it too tight because I still got to put edge protectors in. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw this one. And move to the next one. Tuck it in. And throw the next one. It's just a matter of working your way down. No need to get in any kind of hurry. Just take your time. That way you can make sure you don't miss anything and you do everything correctly.
So, I've had people ask me, how do I do my straps when I throw them so I don't hurt myself? You take your strap, right? You bring down a little bit of slack on one side, bring it back up, let it fall, then pinch it. So now you can use it as a slingshot. There are other methods. That's just the one I use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue to do this right here, the same thing all the way down. Just keep going. So, you'll see, I got four more and I got to throw four more straps. Now I've got to throw the straps that transverse straight across on both the front and the back. So, when I get ready to do that, I'll bring it back and show you one, and then I'll get ready to tarp it. But right now I'm gonna go ahead, finish this out, throw the rest of them, go ahead and, and uh, tie up all the straps and everything and then I'll put my edge protection on and I'll secure everything secure everything and I'll bring it back and I'll show it to you so we'll see you in a few minutes all right welcome back everyone so I've got everything secure here as you can see everything is secure I got it all tightened down so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to change camera position. Now I've got to tarp this load. So I'm going to change the camera position, get up on the tarp, I mean up on the uh, trailer, and uh, start tarping. So I'll bring you along with that too. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, welcome back everyone. So now everything's secure. Now I'm going to get ready to start tarping. So I'm going to grab a tarp. Go ahead and set it up there. So, unbunge it. So there's a seam right here because there's a flap. So what I'm doing is I'm lining the seam up with the edge of the load. So now I've got my seam right here on the edge. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start unrolling it. Get it unrolled. Now I'm going to start opening it up. So if you're walking along, along the edge of these trailers, you want to make sure.
Hold it. It'll get down. Grab your assist for calls. Center. I'm gonna grab my bungees. First thing I want to do, because it's kind of windy, I want to kind of get this front corner held in place so the wind don't take my tarp off somewhere. I'm going to do that on both sides real quick. Didn't blow it away somewhere. Now I'm gonna grab this back here. Come up from the back about two, three degrees. Use your hand, pull everything down, make sure it's snug, ancient. Then you take your excess. Bring it back here and let's look at it. So, see what I've done there? Now I got my back where it comes around. Grab me another couple of bungees here. Go to the other side real quick. Ooh, that wind blowing. So, what I do is come up two or three D rings. Hook my budgie. Pull it tight, pinch it, take the excess, put it up underneath there. Then grab my bungee here. That's going to hold that in place while I fix this back. Now I grab this back. Figure out where it's going to be touching the deck at. Grab it. Then, bring my excess around. Now I've got that like that. That wind's flopping my tarp around pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and try to hold it in place a little bit. So I put a temporary bungee on it. Now, on this back part, you want this to be actually over your flat. That's why I haven't been up there to put a bungee on it yet. So, now I'm gonna bring my flat, my flat down, find out where it touches the deck, hold on to it, bring the excess back up underneath it, like that. 
line up a couple holes, grab a bungee, run it through both of your eyelets. That way, you bring your bungee back through. And secure it down. That's going to be held in place. I'm going to do the other thing, the same thing on the other side. So I'll be right back. Now you have a couple options. You can crawl up on the trailer or you can go ahead and stay down here. Get this like a neat feed. Look into it. And you can put a couple of these bungees together. Three or four of them. And then throw them across. Then you can walk around and pull it. Same thing on the other side. Go to the other side and pull it across. Gotta grab me some more bungees. some bungees here. Now what I want to do the same thing I did on the back I want to do on this right here. I want to 
go up about three or four buttons or bigger age. This time I'm gonna reach under, find where the boat and my tarps are, pinch it, and then throw them both up at the same time. Run my buggy down through, grab it, jump out, temporarily secure it in place. Then come over here and find out where my tarp meets the deck. Grab it. Get it tucked up just like that. Put my bungee, run it through, and temporarily hook it. I'll go back and make more permits here in a minute. I want to get equal pull on each side so I'm not pulling my tarp one direction. Now I'm going to go to the other side, grab me a couple of bungees. Probably bungees with hooks on both ends. Come around here.
Alright, so I got Bungie on every D ring. Now, I'll start. Make sure everything's all closed up. So, now you see we have nice, tight, tarp, good seal on the face of it, keep all the dust and moisture and water out of it, so we're done, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, pick up everything I was using, all my leftovers, get it all put away, and then get ready to head down the road, so thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.